My dear students, how can you solve this problem without using free body diagram in just uh, 5 seconds? Let us see here now. So one body of mass M is hanging downwards, that is taken as Mg. One body is resting on the table having sudden friction and that is taken as friction is mu Mg. That's it. Acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass. Acceleration. Net force means difference. That means Ma minus mu Mg. Net mass means this mass plus this mass is going to be 2 M over. Your answer is ready. That's it. Okay. So what is that we are getting now? This is Mg downwards. This is Mg downwards. So Mg if you common out 1 minus mu divided by 2 M. Mm gets cancelled. Acceleration is going to be G by 2 into 1 minus mu is going to answer. So first option. That's it. My dear students, this is a previous year question related to friction. So you can solve this friction method problem without any free ball diagram in just seconds. You can just see here now. So what is going to happen here? He's asking us to find out an acceleration. Here, these three masses are same. Let us imagine the friction on this mass is mu mg. And this mass also mu mg because it is said that all the masses are same. So this combined together can be taken as 2 mg to mu mg. And in this direction, downward it is going to be mg. So acceleration is nothing but net force by net mass. So what is the net force? Applied force is mg. Minus friction force is 2 mu mg. Divided by net mass means I add all the three. And here mg if you common out, 1 minus 2 mu divided by 3m. So mm gets cancelled. What is left now? g into 1 minus 2 mu divided by 3. So c option is going to be the correct answer. That's it. Okay, my dear friends, today I am going to discuss a previous year question uh, which is related to crawling of an insect. What is the meaning of this crawling of an insect? An insect, uh, let me take any, any insect you can just consider here. This insect is able to crawl on a spherical boil up to here. Okay. And after that it is again skidding down. It is again trying to crawl down. I mean crawl upwards up to this position. Again it is skidding down so every time it goes up to here and comes down it goes up to here and comes down what is the meaning of that up to here it is able to balance itself up to here there is an equilibrium and beyond that if goes then it is able it is unable to balance itself that is the meaning here how many forces are acting on the insect when it reaches up to this position let me discuss about that one is mg is acting downwards the other is normal reaction is acting in this direction and what is going to happen in this direction if this is theta this is going to be mg cos theta in this direction it is going to be mg sin theta in this direction there is a friction there is a friction in this direction all these four forces are counterbalancing each other. All these four forces are counterbalancing e with each other. Now, let me discuss what is going to happen here. You all know F and Mg sin theta are counterbalancing each other. And next, what else? Normal reaction is counterbalancing Mg cos theta. That's it. You all know friction is directly proportional to normal reaction. The greater is the friction, the greater will be the normal reaction. Now, F is equal to mu into N. Mu is equal to F by N. Mu is equal to F by N. In the place of F, you will substitute Mg sin theta. And in the place of N, you will substitute Mg cos theta. Mg, Mg gets cancelled, you will be getting mu is equal to tan theta. And mu is equal to tan theta. In the problem, it is given that mu is equal to 0 0.75. That means it can be taken as 3 by 4. It can be taken as 3 by 4. 75% is 3 fourth. Yes. So once you get 3 by 4, what does it mean actually? I told you that mu is equal to tan theta. That means tan theta is equal to mu which is equal to 3 by 4. So if you consider this as theta, 
tan theta is equal to 3 by 4 means this is 3, this is 4. And according to Pythagoras theorem, this is going to be the third hypotenuse, which is going to be 5. 3, 4, 5. The sides of a, I mean Pythagoras theorem. Now, he is asking us to find out up to what height the insect is able to crawl. That is the question here. Up to here it is able to crawl. Let us imagine this height. So this height from here to here, it is uh, it's imagined to be H. This is going to be H now, from here to here. This is the height H. How are you going to find out that height H? You know this is going to be the radius. This is going to be angle theta. These two are same angles called as corresponding angles. Because these sides are parallel, these angles will be same. And now you know this is going to be the radius of a boil. This is going to be the component of that radius that is called as r cos theta. And the total radius is going to be r. This is totally radius r. And this part is going to be r cos theta. And our aim is to find out this height. That's it. So how are we going to find out this height? This height is nothing but r minus r cos theta. r minus r cos theta. Then what I'm going to get? H is equal to R if you common out 1 minus cos theta. 1 minus cos theta. That's it. Your answer is ready. R cos theta. 1 minus cos theta. What is cos theta here? Cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse. That is 4. I mean 4 by 5. So H is going to become R by 5. H is going to become R by 5. Whatever the value given in this question, the value of R, if you substitute here, you will get the height H. Hope you have enjoyed this one. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. My dear friends, this is a wonderful shortcut in YouTube. I think this is the only one shortcut in YouTube. Let me discuss how I am going to solve the problem which was asked in 2020. So if you see this problem, if you see this problem here, which is asked in 2020, the lengthy solution is given in the books. This is a total lengthy solution. It may waste one or two minutes, but in need you have to do every problem in less than one minute. Then only you can attempt the paper wholeheartedly and you can plan the solution easily. So let me solve this problem in very, very less time. Half of the time taken in the books. What are the books? They are explaining within half of the time which was solved, we can solve this problem. Now let us see how I'm going to do. So for this, I have discovered a small shortcut, which is given in the blue color box. In this, it is said that acceleration is equal to weight of the hanging body minus friction force, which is resting on the table divided by net mass. That's it. So here, mass of the hanging body, let, it, let us imagine to be M2 which is given as 2 kg. Mass of the resting body on the table is considered as M1, which is coming on the trolley, which is in the form of a trolley. So now if you apply this, weight of a hanging body is nothing but M2g. Weight of the resting body on the table is taken as mu M1g divided by net mass, which is M1 plus M2. That's it. So acceleration is equal to M2 is nothing but 2. Okay. So it is equal to 2 into 10 minus mu 1. Mu is nothing but 0 0.05 minus m1. m1 is 10. Again, g is also 10 here. Okay. So 0 0.05 into 10 into 10 divided by net mass that is 10 plus 2. So this is a single step formula which will solve the problems of this type very, very easily. So therefore, 20 minus how much will be getting? 20 minus 5 divided by uh, what is this 12 that's it so beginning 15 by 12 so your answer is going to be 5 by 4 which is 1.25 meter per second square so this step which was uh, done in the books by doing a lot of uh, free body diagrams i have done in a single step that is acceleration is equal to weight of a hanging body minus friction force divided by the net mass this is a si simple solution which can solve the problems of this type hope you have enjoyed this one thank you very much if you like this type of problems if you want some more problems of this model then you just comment below subscribe to your channel prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below if you want any type of this type of problems thank you friends what are the forces acting on the block when it is in front of the lorry and lorry is moving in the forward direction 
there is it's very simple that there is a pseudo force acting in the opposite direction because lorry is moving in this in this direction a pseudo force is acting in the backward direction upward there is a frictional force downward there is mass into gravity in this direction okay so we can write like this f is equal to mg n equal to ma but you all know that f is equal to mu into n so you can write mg is equal to mu into ma so therefore you can write acceleration is equal to mm gets cancelled it is g by mu so it can be acceleration can be equal to or it can also be greater than so we can write here acceleration is greater than or equal to g by mu therefore c option is correct hope you have understood thank you very much this problem is asked in previous year j mains 2023 uh, he's asking us to find out what is the coefficient of kinetic friction here okay and the shortcut formula for that is this one mu is equal to tan theta into 1 minus 1 by n square here theta is given as 45 degrees so therefore we're getting the answer as mu is equal to tan 45 1 minus 1 by n square so directly your answer is going to become 1 minus 1 by n square so this is your correct answer that is b option is correct thank you very much have a nice day